is just to survive. We'll compromise who we are just to survive. There are things that we said that we would never do. I can't get no help up in here. There, there, there are people that we said that we would never connect to. The conversations that we said we would never find ourselves in. But the reason why we ended up being with these people, the reason why we found ourselves in these positions, the reason why we ended up having these conversations was simply because the obstacles that we were facing in life put us in a position where we felt that the only way that we were going to be able to make it through is that we had to make some decisions as it pertains to compromising our moral standards in order to ensure and to make sure seemingly that we can get through what we were coming through. And I find, beloved brothers and sisters, that if in the, in the midst of this whole concept of compromise, I find that if we're not careful, that we will find ourselves in a stagnant place, not moving forward or backward, but literally stuck in neutral, watching, if you will, our seasons and our breakthroughs seemingly pass us by. If we're not careful, we'll find ourselves looking at our lives and wondering why it is that we're not going forward, wondering why it is that we're not going backward, wondering why in the world am I still in the same position that I was in in 2010, even though I'm in 2013. I can't get no help here. Wondering how in the world am I stuck in this particular place. And I believe, I believe tonight that I'm talking to somebody. I believe I'm talking to somebody that may be in this condition that you feel literally imprisoned by your circumstances and you're unable to see beyond your trouble because your crises has literally impeded your vision. However, beloved brothers and sisters, we must understand, I, I, every last one of us must recognize, realize, understand that breakthrough is not based upon what you see. But breakthrough is based upon what you say. Because I've learned something, beloved brothers and sisters. I've learned that if I say it long enough, that after a while, I'm going to see it. Yes. I can't get no help from by myself. In other words, each and every last one of us needs to recognize, realize, and or understand that in order for us to come out of some of the things that we're in, in order for us to come out of some of the tragedies and the trials that we have faced, in order for us to be able to get up from some of the hardships and the heartaches that we have found ourselves in, we have to learn how to declare and decree some things over our lives. Because as long as you walk around here silently trying to outweigh the circumstances, as long as you walk around here silently trying to act like it's not there, you're going to find yourself falling into a deeper place of depression. But as soon as you make up in your mind that I'm sick and tired of being in the position that I'm in and that God has to have something that is better for me, as soon as you decide to speak over your own life, and declare the decrease of things. That is when stuff is going to shift. And that's when things are going to happen. And that's when life is going to get better. I wish I had a witness in here. How do you know that, Dr. Seth? Because the proverbial writer says something extremely profound in the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 26. Watch what he says. He says, Hear, 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 hear. For I speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. Notice what he says. He says, For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. He says, All the words of my mouth are, are in righteousness, and there is nothing forward or perverse in them. In other words, what he's declaring here, he's saying that we have to learn how to and we have to make ourselves speak life even when we don't feel like it. I'm going to say that one more time. You have to learn how to and you have to make yourself speak life even when you don't feel like it. Why? Because sometimes, beloved brothers and sisters, the only encouragement that you're going to get is the words that come out of your own mouth. And the reason why some of us are stressed is because we're so busy walking around looking for people to tell us that things are going to get better. We're walking around looking for people to tell us that we're going to come out of our circumstances out of our situations. We're walking around looking for people that tell us that we're going to climb higher and that this situation too is going to pass. But you've got to learn, beloved brother,
brothers and sisters that you have to understand that you're not going to always find people that are going to tell you what you need to hear. So sometimes you just got to learn how to go to your own bathroom and look, look yourself in the mirror and just gather yourself together and tell yourself, I'm not going out like no Trump. I'm not going out like no Southern. Yes, it's not the way I think it should be and it's not the way I planned it to be. But the devil is a liar. This is not the end of my story. It may be a chapter in my book, but things are going to get better on my behalf. I wonder, is there anybody here other than me that's making the decision tonight that when I leave here, I'm not spitting no more venom on my own life circumstances, but from this day forward, I'm declaring and decreeing battle. Uh, it's going to happen for me. I wonder, is there anybody in this house that's ready to declare better? Look at somebody and just tell somebody real fast, my life may not be what I planned for it to be, but from this moment on, it's going to get better. Oh, y'all still looking at me strange.